is Pride Month for the LGBTQIA community and our allies, and I just wanted to wish all of you a very, very, very happy Pride Month slash Pride every day because everybody is unique and everybody should be proud of who they are. I just wanted to say that I hope you are safe and that you are happy and that you are proud of who you are. It has been an honor and a privilege to provide more positive on-screen representation for the queer community, for my community. And I would not be here today without all of our fans' support. It's, it's given me an opportunity to be a voice and to give representation to a group that needs it. It definitely has. It's definitely surpassed my wildest dreams. I mean, it's funny, my co-star Elise and I have talked about this before, but we did, from the initial reading together, have this sense that there was something different about this project, and we sort of, for lack of a better word, felt this magic between us, and we had this idea that it was going to be something special, but I don't think anybody planned for it to be quite as big as it actually I truly means. hope that I, I do get to continue telling stories that have meaning and I, I hope that I continue to make the queer community proud and to, to play roles that, that represent my community. Yeah, that's a great responsibility, yeah. but I feel like you're up for it. Yeah. Also, a really important thing to have in a relationship that holds it together is you can be really different. You can have different ways of expressing yourself. You can have, you know, different interests and styles, but at the end of the day, they really wanted the same thing, and they had each other in common as well. <laughs> the word pride means a million different things to millions of different people. I think it is so important for diverse members of our community to have a voice. For me, I think this is for all of my fans who feel like they don't belong or who feel like an outsider. I am very much still the little girl who used to get shoved into lockers, so this one's for all of you and it really means a lot to me that I actually get to be part of a project that is creating positive social change. Um, I'm a huge advocate for positive queer representation as a member of the queer community myself, uh, but furthermore, even as just an ally, uh, uh, all, of, all of the actors on, on this sh uh, show or movie now um, are just so happy to be doing something that really resonates with young people and is making a, a difference in the world and in the way that uh, stories are being I don't think anything different. could surpass Carmilla, uh, but I certainly made sure that I wrote a strong female queer character in my own show. Uh, but it's, it's quite different. It's very absurd. As actors, I would have never imagined having that audience <laughs> uh, for myself personally. Uh, but it's been such a wonderful gift to have it now because I get to be a role model and I get to be a mm. voice for both queer youth and, and maybe kids who kind of feel like outsiders. Yeah. So for me the word pride means freedom. It means the freedom to be whoever I want to be and to love whoever I want to love because yes, although being queer is a really important part of my identity, who I choose to be intimate with in the bedroom or who I choose to date doesn't change the type of actor I am or person I am or worker I am or or dog mother, or sister, or friend, or daughter that I am. It's for me and my partners. And I hope that all of you viewers also get to have the same kind of freedom someday if you don't already. Possible. And I love doing fan events. I just did one last weekend, and it is one of my most favorite things to do. I read every letter they send me. I'm pretty sure people think I'm a hoarder now because I just keep all of the things that everyone sends me. Um, but they're really what makes this job special. So often as an actor, you don't get to choose what you do. So the fact that I get to work on something that's creating positive social change yeah, is I such a gift. I share that a lot because I'm lucky. I don't really have a traditional coming out story. So I don't feel like I can give coming out advice to people because yes, I, I'm not strictly gay. And, and also I, I had really open-minded parents and I came from a really open-minded place. I don't really have this harrowing tale. Well, I enjoy the opportunities that I have to provide positive on-screen representation for the queer community because I'm a member of the queer community. Um, so I love that. And people do often ask me, you know, do you ever get worried about being typecast as a queer person? And I think to every queer character I've played, and they've all been so vastly different, and I don't think straight actors are like, oh, I'm worried about being typecast as straight. Because I'm like, <laughs> yeah. queer people are 
all very different, and they all have very different interests. They're still people. Yeah. Images, like, yeah. yeah. So I'm always like, no. I mean, if I was constantly playing like a broody vampire forever, like you know, I love Carmilla, and I'd be happy to play her forever. But I mean, if I you know went to, to my next project and it was like the same kind of thing, maybe that would get tiresome. But I never get tired of playing queer, and I hope that I get to continue providing positive queer representation. And I'm lucky that I've had those opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, you know, I, I also hope that I get to play characters that have a positive effect on people or touch people and move people in any capacity. Because I think there are also straight characters that people identify with as well. Maybe, it, you know, I, I want to tell stories. And I, I want to tell stories that resonate with folks. Um, so yeah, I'd say that. Um, that's really wonderful about working on a digital series is it not only reaches people in Canada but it reaches people globally yeah. and our uh, show is a queer show um, it really supports that community and it's changing lives all across the world so I am just so grateful that I get to work on something that's meaningful you know so often as an actor you don't get to choose what you work on all the time so the fact that I'm creating positive social change is such a gift. He was one of my best friends that I definitely had a huge crush on for a long time and it was my 18th birthday and I was having this like big party and she like pulled me in the bathroom and was like, oh, I want to gossip with you. But then she was like, I think we should make out. And I was like, there was this like internal like screaming voice inside of me that was like, yes, like finally. And then like we did and I was like, this is amazing. I want to do this all the time. I mean, and, and at the same time, like I, I do still like men and I'm really lucky that like all the men in my life have been super respectful and like hardcore feminists and um, and, and always like really accepting of my sexuality because I always made sure that like when I went on a first date I'd be like, hey, by the way, uh, I am not straight. Way out to go. And I think it's important to have, you know, maybe some particular episodes that address their sexuality, but I feel like we need to move past that. Like coming out stories are very important and they were important to tell um, uh, at a time when people were trying to illustrate the struggles that queer folk have had and those struggles are still there. But now it's like, can we just integrated into regular media so that maybe straight folks who like love a show and fall in love with the character are like oh cool they're gay and it's no big deal mm -hmm. right that would be great that would be a dream yeah. or you know or or can or buy or whatever or you know i'd actually love to see a bi or pansexual character selfishly you know as someone who identifies as fluid um that isn't like a promiscuous home wrecker yeah. They'd be really cool to like, or like doesn't leave a woman for a man, or like right. something like that. Like just someone who's just a person. Right. Uh, which is why I'm such a supporter and advocate for youth movements and youth groups that are exposing like young people to different options, that there's more than just this like heteronormative lifestyle. What's the plan? What are we going to do? Well, I think calling your politicians, I think having a strong social media presence, and also volunteering your time. That is something that I've been doing a lot of this year, actually, is I never want to be just another activist, is what I call them, activists, where I say, yeah, I support these things. You show up to a red carpet, and then that's it. And then that's it. I've actually been trying to... My favorite kind of charity, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is exhausting. You know, I'm volunteering my time right now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I've been trying to do a lot more of that, especially for uh, different queer organizations, because obviously I identify as queer, I play a queer character, and that's really important to me. So I've actually been trying to just go into high schools and actually sit with kids for an hour and talk to them and do things and, and not necessarily post about it. So yeah. Which is why I feel comfortable using the title queer now, because I think it's sort of this umbrella term that encompasses everything. And the more trans friends I make and the more non-binary friends I make, the more I, I want to be inclusive of them. So I think that pansexual is a, a term that, that works for me because who's to say that I might not fall in love with a trans person or a non-binary person? I don't know, I might. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me, I, I just love people.
did it. He had to. He saved my life. If that's gonna make it pretty hard to get rid of me. <laughs> Sounds good. Experience is gonna be like this. We're in for a hell of a ride. We are? Um, if you think I'm going through all of that again, then you're Well, that's not fair. You know, I can't make sound decisions when you're doing that. Hmm. Who needs sound decisions? Hey, Nico. That's me. I'm like <clears throat> super kinky. Yeah, kinky. Oh my God, stop talking, Clara. <laughs> you're usual. Oh, uh, yeah? I'm gonna kiss you now. If, I mean, if, if that's okay. <laughs> There's something about you. Maybe it's my keen fashion sense. No, it's definitely not that. Snuggling up with your nice, warm, You weren't saying anything. Did I put it on wrong? I look ridiculous. I do, I look ridiculous. I... I'm so proud of you. You're not worried about how we'll spend the rest of our lives together. I figure any two people in a relationship, their lives move at different paces. That isn't the part that matters. This. Here. Right now. This is what matters. And I love you. I love you too.